hi guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're oldie but goodie thank you for staying tuned to your girl so if you guys didn't know petrol jam have been in a scandal since the beginning of the year when people realized that the money that they said they were using to fund this organization was misused and misappropriated a lot of people resigned during this time and now the government is actually doing a audit to figure out where the money went who used the money who authorized these um things but now it's coming back that the audit Whitley, who was the person in charge of that organization, held a party and his cake cost 1000 US dollars. Mind you, this money comes from Jamaica's tax paying citizens. So let's get into the story. And it says, Despite the stain oil refinery Petrodram facing an uncertain future, senior members of his management team threw a surprise parties costing millions of dollars for their then board chairman Dr. Percival Bado Sai, a former energy minister Dr. Andrew Withley without approval. This is among a riff of troubling findings contained in the 114 page report from the Auditor's General's Department on the Affairs of Petrojam and its parent company, the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica, PCJ. The report was tabled in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. According to the report, then General Ma Manager Floyd Grinley approved payments for invoice totaling 2.6 million Jamaican US 21,767 in relation to two parties which were of personal and private nature, having nothing to do with the operations of Petrojam nothing at all these were all personal parties the parties were held on september 19 of 2017 and january 8 of 2018 at two hotels in montego bay for badahosai and withley respectively and a lot of people may be wondering why Whitley was moved from where he was. He was the former energy minister. They moved him to a different part in the government. And this was one of the reasons why. Because of the whole scandal with Petrodram. We obtained copies of the hotel invoices dated September 19th and January 4 of 28. Email correspondence which referred to both events as a surprise birthday party and surprise party respectively. The auditor the auditor general said in the report the auditor general said a copy of the invoice submitted by the hotel that hosted a party for the then portfolio minister shows that petrojam was charged us two thousand four hundred and twenty seven dollars for food and beverage us one thousand for Fortiture topsy turvy chocolate cake and US three thousand eight hundred and two for one to six bedroom ocean view. So them they don't want their liquor regular bedroom in the hotel. Them need the ocean view it cost US three thousand eight hundred dollars, almost four thousand dollars for the bedrooms. Wow. The AG also found that Grinley exceeded his authority and breached the procurement guidelines in approving two contracts valued at $14 million and $27 million under the direct contracting methodolo methodology. Obsolently, Grinley engaged a consult to consult service under two contracts pertaining to Petrojam 35 anniversary planning activities. Under the first contract, Petrojam paid a consultant $1.7 million. And when we say these people are lining their pockets with Jamaican citizens' money, this is what we're talking about. One consultant got paid $1.7 million just for consulting services alone. 
However, the AG said the department could not determine the basis on which the payments were made. So they don't know where the payments were made to. No clue whatsoever. It can be in an offshore account um, in a Cayman Islands. It can be in a bank in a Jamaica. No one knows where the payments were made, but they just know that $11.5 million is missing. The Auditor General also found that the now former Human Resource Manager Yolanda Ramhar, Ramhar, I don't, I can't pronounce her last name, Ramar, Ramarak, alternately utilized the direct contracting methodology to engage the services of a counselor to provide on-site counseling service to employees and their family members. <laughs> on-site counseling to employees and family mem members. I would love to know if anybody from the company parents died or they were involved in a murder or stick up or, or why do they need on-site family counseling and for not only the employees but also their family members who does that who does that this was done at a cost of 1.3 million without a formal contract so they didn't have a contract wow as of May 2018, Petroja made payments totaling 3.2 million and had an outstanding balance of 600,226 as of September 2018. The age notes that the payments were made without adequate supporting documents and as such, the auditors could not verify the employees receive counseling. So these people got paid $3.5 million and they don't know if the employees actually receive counseling or not. These, they just paid somebody $3.2 million without a contract and they don't know if they actually received the services that they paid for. You see what me I thought about though? You see what we people I say when these government officials go into office, they line their pocket, they make sure them good, them them parents good, them great grandparents good, all of the one where they did and left in a grave, and they make sure their grandchildren, their great grandchildren, and their great 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 grandchildren are good, and then Jamaican citizens are left to pick up whatever they left off. And you guys think Jamaica is poor? Y'all think, y'all really sitting here and let them fool you that we are poor and we need to borrow money from different countries like China and have different people running our, our stuff, running our airports and hotels and all of that. You guys really believe that BS that they feed you through media? As it relates to its recruitment policy, the Auditor General said it's essential for Petrojam to have a good recruitment process to attract the right skill set for its business needs. In employing good practice in recruitment and selection process, especially for a sensitive position, we would expect Petrojam to first advise the vacancy in order to obtain a pool of potential candidates with the desired knowledge and skills and experience. This would for the selection of most suitable persons to fill vacant position against defined jobs, descriptions, and specifications. In addition, Petrojam should screen potential candidates and shortlist those most suitable for an interview, assessment, and selection, the AGC said. The report noted that Petrojam has policies that guide its employees and recruitment processes, but it found that Petrojam HR recruitment and management practices were not always consistent with its policies and good practices and lack transparency in the selection process. So they are basically saying that the people that they recruited for a certain position, they were not qualified for. They did it based on favoritism or based on the person or somebody, person, family, or they're close with their family members, there was no transparency, there's no real recruitment process or selection process for the jobs that they recruited certain persons for. The AG department was one of the three agencies that were called into the pro that the activities of Petrojam after a corruption scandal engulfed the state-owned oil refinery in May. There were charges of massive cost overruns, numerous breaches of government procurement policy, as well as charges of nepotism and cronyism. The integrity, 
Commission is also conducting a probe, so to the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency. Honestly, I feel like somebody needs to be held accountable. Somebody needs to be fired. Somebody money retirement plan needs to get killed. Um, they don't need any retirement plan. They don't need to be resigned. They need to be fired. Okay, fired too many times stuff like this happen in jamaica and jamaican people just sit and watch it happen they don't do anything they don't say anything and it keeps on happening continuously and when we do this video and we expose these things it feels like people are still asleep the first party caught the first party costs exactly i'm gonna tell you the exact price of the first part no the second party costs eleven thousand seven hundred and eighty two dollars and that is in us that is over 1.1 million dollars for one party that had nothing to do with government affairs it was all personal the first party cost ten thousand five hundred and seven dollars that's over one million five hundred dollars in jamaican had nothing to do with government or trying to better jamaican economic system it has to do with personal one cake a cake costs one thousand dollars that cake must have been lined with gold mr whitley i hope you enjoyed that cake this is crazy like comment share and subscribe and tell me what you guys think about this story do you think somebody needs to be held accountable do you think that everybody at petrodram need to be fired do you think that their pension plan should be taken away do you think that somebody needs to be held accountable for all the money that they cannot find like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video deuces